14 million people in this country have some sort of accessibility need through disability. So you'd be excluding about 20% of your audience if you didn't pay any attention to accessibility or if you didn't uh, understand or deliver it properly. Your audience has a wide variety of accessibility needs. They can be categorized as motor impairments, sensory impairments, and also cognitive impairments that are usually invisible and they are mostly connected to differences in processing memory and speech in our brains. Some people may need to use special assistive technology to be able to navigate the digital products like the screen readers or input-output devices, while some need to customize their experience in a different way, like enhancing the contrast or constantly zooming in or out. This means that to provide a truly great customer experience, you need to support all that variety of accessibility needs and also assistive technologies that exist. The first driver I'd like to talk about is the moral obligation because uh, there's a lot of people in the society that are already excluded for lots of different reasons and missing out on opportunities and I think the last thing that we want to do is exclude them by building a website or an application that's not accessible as well. The next one I suppose is your uh, legal obligations because we've had laws in this country for a long time that say that if you're offering a service to a person then you can't exclude any other persons because of their disability but I think that is something that happens quite a lot because people don't understand accessibility and digital inclusion um, and that's something that everybody needs to focus much more sharply on now. The last thing that you need to think about is your financial driver. Um, the spending power of people with disabilities in this country is worth 247 billion and that's a really big number. So to create something that's um, not accessible or something that doesn't include as many people uh, in that group as possible, uh, then that would just be pretty foolish. It is very easy to think about accessibility as purely technical compliance and standards. But the reality is that to go from good to great accessibility, you, it needs to be a part of customer experience from the very beginning. It cannot be an afterthought. There's a lot of work that needs to be done uh, to ensure that within the organization that people understand accessibility better, uh, that people are able to deliver accessibility better. So I would say that one of the key things is to work with an agency that will help you through that process to understand accessibility, to understand inclusion, to understand the needs of individual users and then to start delivering on that. Working on accessibility from the very beginning may feel overwhelming, but it doesn't need to be. We can start uh, doing two things. First, running an accessibility audit. This is where we analyze your core user journeys and figure out how do they perform against existing standards. And second important thing to do is to invest in the training of your design and development team so they will, so they will build the accessible products from the very beginning. After you do audits and uh, the training, the next logical steps is to do sessions of testing for accessibility. This is where we run user testing sessions with participants on a wide variety of accessibility needs. And this is the way to ensure that people with real accessibility needs, your actual audience, your users and your potential users are able to achieve their goals.